Hey everyone, J Rod Plays here, and just like the community feared, we did fail to get the major order done to take the two fort planets, but not all is lost. We actually have some progress already built into the new major order. When it actually kicked over, it was originally Fori Prime and Istanu that were fully uh, taken, but Istanu is now actually defending itself, uh, or actually under a defend status, so we have to defend Istanu so we can get it back and check that box again. So it looks like we lost all progress, but really it's just a matter of getting the defense done by this time tomorrow we'll have the full planet back again once we get the defend done successfully which I'm sure everybody will also make sure to take advantage of getting samples on the defend there's some great missions that have a lot of condensed samples that you can collect as well and if I can get some footage of that I'll definitely make a video showing you how to do that as you can see now with the new major order it says civilian biomass collection teams are gathering and processing inner terminates on liberated bug planets the helldivers must maintain or control these worlds until the operations are complete so basically all we have to do is is knock out Estanu for today, continue to work on Crimsica, which is kind of funny how people were still kind of working on Crimsica when we were supposed to be actually getting over to uh, Zagon Prime, and then now we have to knock out Hellmire, which is actually going to be a pretty daunting task from a lot of the videos that people have posted. Hellmire on the upper difficulties can get pretty rough, especially if you have a bunch of fire tornadoes going all around the same time as a couple of bug breaches, so good luck there. People have been saying that Hellmire is kind of the bug equivalent of the Malevolent Creek, so we'll see how that turns out. But uh, other than that, today's daily, if you still haven't completed it, is going to just be to bust out that machine gun and get yourself 100 kills. Uh, that's easy to knock out while you're doing any of these missions, so you don't have to do anything special for that. Although, if you wanted to, you can go into the terminated missions where you're just doing kills, pull out a resupply, and sit basically by the resupply and just put lead down range, and it's really easy to get your 100 kills that way. The flying bugs also continue to be an issue if you're going to be working on the higher difficulty, so just be aware of those tactics. I have a video coming out soon on how I handle the bugs and kind of the way that they interact, just kind of looking at the ups and downs of dealing with them while working with the bugs on the ground and some of the loadouts that you'll need to take out their bases. And I'm sure the community is also waiting to see how long they're going to take to fix the arc weapons because the arc weapons are going to be really handy in taking out the bugs and getting the planets liberated. So from here, we've got another daunting task in front of us, but it's not as bad as it seems because Astanu was essentially already taken. We just have to wait until tomorrow. So we just have three days to knock out Kremzika and Hellmire, keep Astanu, and we should be able to get our major order completed. When pulling up dispatches, you can see that uh, we do have a major order filled message as well that reads, though many terminates have been mercifully cold, the Helldavers were unable to penetrate as far inside the quarantine zone as ordered. The expansion of our citizens to new planets will be reduced in line with the reduction of expected element 710 to be produced. Further procreation applications will be denied until further notice. And that's going to be the new intelligence brief that we have here. Uh, other than that, everything else looks pretty much the same. We unfortunately do not have the effects any longer that I can see where we get the free 100k bomb. We just have to deal with the planet's already environmental conditions, so like thick fog and rainstorms here. On the defend planet, we're looking at extreme cold, which is nice for any kind of weapons that have heat. Crimsica right now has just ion storms, not bad. And then Hellmire, what we're looking at is going to be intense heat and fire tornadoes, of course. And as you ramp up the difficulty, you're going to see that we're going to have these additional effects so scatter is increased and then the cooldowns are increased so it's going to be really rough on hellmire on hell dive good luck out there guys continue to spread democracy in the best way that you see fit and i'll see you guys in the next update